All right, so seats passed the leak test, floats in place with the proper height. We'll get the main in, get the main holder. Might as well just screw that in by hand. This kit comes with a 65 main, so I'm gonna reuse my, uh, the 60 in this one. I'm putting this on a 88cc jug, stock CT70 head build. So I'm gonna go with a 60 on this and then uh, tune it on that jet and see how we go. Go ahead and get our main in there. And I'll put my pilot in. So go ahead and get yours screwed in and then we'll put the gasket on. It came in the kit. And uh, we'll seal it off with the two screws. Alright, so let's get our screws in and then while I'm doing that, that uh, pilot jet is a 35 in the kit, which is the same as a stock, so I, I failed to mention that. Alright, so next up we'll put the uh, drain screw, put the O-ring on it, we'll do our idle screw and our air screw. The longer of the two springs is going to go on the air or the uh, idle screw, and the smaller of the springs can go on your air screw. All right, so the screw that is blunt on the end and is longer of the two is your idle screw, and then that's going to go back in the hole, which is in the line with the carb slide. So I'll go ahead and screw that in. And then what you'll want to do is just seat it nice, uh, well, gently seat it clockwise, and then you're going to back it out uh, one and a half turns, I would say, is a good starting point. And then uh, we'll do the same thing for the air screws. We'll put that one in its in its uh, hole, screw that in, and then seat it gently, and then back it out one and a half turns. And that will be your initial startup setting for the bike. All right, so let's do the filter side of the uh, bowl. You got your in the pack, and a new kit. You get your brass filter screen and then your o-ring and then I bought two new little screws but remember out of the four little screws that go on this uh, lower part the longer of the four are the ones that are gonna go on the filter side cover so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in these little tabs these tabs face up out towards the cover put your o-ring in And then we can put our cover on, and then uh, we'll just put the two screws on. All right, so let's close off the built-in petcock here. Uh, so get your little lever, your front plate. I have two new little screws, but remember the smaller screws are the ones you're going to use here out of the four screws. Uh, the longer screws are the ones that go for the uh, filter side cover. You get your little wafer tension spring and then your rubber um, gasket that is new from the pack. So go ahead and put this gasket in. There's no way right or wrong on it, just as long as you get the two nubs and the holes on the gasket itself. All right, then you're going to want to make sure that when you're putting your cover back on with the all the handle and everything assembled, that this arrow or this point is pointing back to the back of the carb or towards your drain valve or towards your air filter box. So that's, that's the appropriate way to do it. So what you want to do is go ahead and put your wafer on and then put this on. and then hold it down and then we'll put our two screws in, okay? So get that assembled and then you're gonna be done. All right, so the kit also comes with a new O-ring for this intake manifold flange. And actually the last thing we have left on this carb is, uh, you know, if you bought a new 
drain hose, you can put that on. And then your clip. Uh, but really the last thing we need to do is just work on the cap, get our new boot on, and do our needle. And we got a new, an O-ring from the kit also that's going to go on the top of the cap right here. And if you're reusing your slide, you know, make sure that that's all cleaned. And you got your W clip that comes in. You get another another W clip for the needle, jet needle, and your little C clip for the jet needle. So I'm going to get that assembled for you guys. You can follow along. Here's that. I do have my spring left over, and I will get my um, rubber boot. I don't have it in front of me, but I'll grab that for the cap. All right, so uh, with this being an adjustable nut on here, I uh, just would say leave the, the boot off because you're going to slide that on the throttle cable first and then you can uh, still have this accessible to make your slight adjustments for free play on your uh, throttle cable and slide. So don't no reason to push this uh, boot all the way down on top of the cap. And then what I'm going to do with this jet needle is I'm going to put my C-clip in the very middle rung. There's five rungs. So let's put it, if we're looking from the top down, we'll put it in the third rung from the top, which is going to be your middle setting. Um, it's good to have a little set of needle nose pliers. Needle nose pliers for that. So go ahead and just put it on number three. Alright, C clips in the middle rung. Just go ahead and put it down in your slide and follow that with a W clip. And when you put the W clip, you want this opening part uh, in here, the middle open part, facing the, the actual cutout for your um, throttle cable to go through. So when you put it in, you want it to look like that. So you got room to run your cable down through there with no obstruction. All right, so the W clip that came with the kit is just slightly too big. It's not going to compress properly, and it won't clear over the top of the uh, head of the jet needle. So I I had one from the original setup, and I just reused it. So um, just to clarify, uh, jet uh, W clip is not going to be any good in this kit, and uh, you get a what did I say, 65 main. So those are the two things. I mean, as far as a complete kit goes, I'd say it's super comprehensive, but those two items, you're gonna um, wanna make sure you either clean your original main jet and reuse or buy a appropriate one to go with this kit from Dr. ATV or Beatrice Cycle, and then also buy yourself another W clip or reuse the one that you have. Uh, so other than that, we're good. The slide can go in place if you want to put it in there. Uh, this is the gasket for the cap and then I got my spring so that should be pretty much it for the carb uh, cleaning for you guys and re resetting it to, to the proper settings. One other thing I noticed while I was putting the slide in for you guys uh, was that I was getting some uh, uh, resistance so I just took some mother's polish on a q-tip and just gently kind of cleaned out the interior wall of this slide um, <clears throat> guide here on the neck and uh, we got much much smoother um, it will just drop right in now before it wouldn't drop in so just a little tip if you have a little bit of a uh, friction to just go in with some very fine metal polish aluminum polish and a q-tip and you can get that cleaned up to, to make it work much better last thing you want is friction on that slide is you know uh, then it won't return properly or could get jammed up on you and malfunction the carb so i know uh, for anyone that was interested this carb is it's going to go on this ct73 speed which i did put a h4 speed in here but it's still semi-automatic four gears now uh, the jug is an 88 jug stock ct70 cylinder head uh, I, TB Parts did not have their jug in stock, so I went with the Dr. 8 TV 88 kit, and this comes from CMS out of Japan, and the piston also was a CMS piston, which was labeled as Japanese manufactured. 
Only problem with this jug is that his jugs came with a 49 uh, cc um, casting on here, so I ran it through my mill and just cleaned it off. Uh, so I messaged him, and all his EDA kits come with the 49 cc um, casting, unfortunately. So uh, good quality, but I think the casting is a turnoff uh, unless you have some way of cleaning it up, which. Uh, you know, a mill is what I had to use. I don't know of any other real good effective way to get that ground down and make it look nice. So there you go. There's the engine. Um, again, subscribe to my videos. Um, I appreciate anyone that does. Uh, that helps me just grow the channel and uh, more videos to come. Thanks, guys.